Hi there, my name is Ian Webster with Project Navigator Limited. Project Navigator is an environmental engineering and project management firm. We believe we have the skill sets and capabilities to interest those who may be interested in the future development of the former Crown Bus Manufacturing Facility, or as it's currently known, the Clean Tech Manufacturing Site in Los Angeles. This video will tell you a few things about the site, its location, and its future plans. Click on adjacent pixel blocks to learn more about green structures and how, one, how the facility can be protected by putting down a vapor system under the slab to collect any volatiles that may come from the impacts. But more on that later. The site itself is about 20 acres. It's located in the central industrial project area of Los Angeles. The site is owned by the Community Redevelopment Authority of Los Angeles and they want to make it a focus of their redevelopment in this industrial corridor here. For point of reference, here's the Los Angeles River, and here is the 5 Freeway, Alameda Street in Washington, just southeast of downtown, little Tokyo up here. Moving closer, looking at an aerial picture, um, here is Alameda, north-south here, and here's the 20-acre facility that is prime for development, currently owned by CRA. The best plan in place right now is for the Italian rail car manufacturer and Saldo Breda to build a green high-tech coach manufacturing facility, a rail car manufacturing facility at this location. The site is ideally suited as being adjacent to the current Amtrak uh, rail car maintenance facility right by the Los Angeles River. The site, however, because of its former industrial activities, over a hundred years of former activities at this site have rendered the site impacted with metals and volatile organic compounds. From an environmental engineering perspective, however, these compounds can be easily managed. And in fact, the Community Redevelopment Agency, the current Los Angeles city entity who owns it, has currently hauled out to date about 50,000 cubic yards of surficial impacted metals and total petroleum hydrocarbon impacted soils. However, the deeper soils, down to about 80 feet, are still impacted with volatiles and even the groundwater potentially too. The CRA, Community Redevelopment Authority, is operating a dual phase extraction system and an SVE soil vapor extraction system to manage these volatiles in the groundwater and also in the Vero zone. However, the site needs to be transitioned from this intermediate remediation scenario, which could go on from three to five years into the future, it is possible that this system can be integrated into the base of a new green structure that could be built on the top of it. Future slides or future video will tell you how that can be done, but right now, the purpose of this uh, short video is to basically explain that uh, p &L has got all the skills and capabilities uh, to assist Ansaldo Breda in this enterprise where the system would be integrated into the base of any future green structure. The green facility um, that Ansaldo Breda is working with is uh, p potentially going to be designed by Shangri-La Construction and they apparently have uh, assisted in the building of a green facility at the Burbank Airport. Anyway, that's the rundown here on the current site conditions. If you click on adjacent pixel blocks, we'll indicate how Project Navigator can help manage and integrate together a remedial system uh, that can handle the subsurface activities that could last in the longer term. Thanks for your attention, and more on Project Navigator can be found at projectnavigator.com.